all four AFC North teams have made improvements this week. Some minor, some major, they've also lost players. So on a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to run through the four AFC North teams and figure out yeah. which team has improved the most. Are you we'll giving us addition and subtractions? I'm just giving you the additions. You, mm -hmm. you guys, I, I only had five spots on a graphic, which, Steve, I told you to get ready, and you don't have it ready yet. So oh, job Steve. Out of you. Oh. Mike Slack, dropping and I told, the ball. I said, Steve, next topic. How are we supposed to know how these other teams are improved if we don't have, know their subtractions? I have them all. I just can put them all in on one graphic. Okay, so I have them for you. I just can only fit five all things right. on a graphic. So we'll start with the Browns. On a scale of one to ten, how much have the Browns improved this season? These are a couple of the big moves they've made. Okay, they've we got to clarify period. first. Does does one to five mean they've – so zero would be they haven't improved at all, or five means they're in the middle? No, you go negatives. So okay, zero so. is they have not improved at all. If you want to say they've gotten worse, you can go negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, gotcha. ten. Ten is a completely different overhaul okay. for your team. So these are some of the big moves the Browns made. I only had five spots on a graphic, so I went with the five Yeah, and you listed Quentin Jefferson as a linebacker. Bad job out of me. You know, maybe he's versatile. Maybe Jim Schwartz can mix him around. <laughs> New position, but no, Jim that, that, that's a miss on me. But yeah. of these five guys, plus there's others, Naheen Himes, uh, they re-signed Hurst and Harris and some other guys as well. So scale of 1 to 10, Bull, start so with you. So a scale of negative 10 to positive 10, guys. You want to start with me? Start with you. I think the Browns have improved a decent amount. Um, I, I, I think it... In my mind, a backup quarterback, it's a wash. At running back, I like the Naheem Hines signing a little bit for running back because he's a good third down back. Mm -hmm. He helps them at return. I think they've upgraded there. At linebacker, I think it's about even. I like Hicks more than Taki Taki, but I like um, Walker when he's healthy better than Bush. Wide receiver, obviously, a nice upgrade with Jerry Judy. Uh, uh, I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the Browns are a of a, a five, five, five on the one to ten scale. Improve. G Bush, man, I, it's difficult because <clears throat> you look at look they did. Um, I think I'm changing that to four. Change it to four. Sorry. I want to, you know, this is like the price is right. Yeah. I want to be like $1. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I'm going to go with four and a half. Mm. Um, and the reason I'm going to go with four and a half, I think you approved in the kick return game with Hines. But, but that's not saying much because they're taking the kick return game out of the situation. Um, I believe that you improved that linebacker slightly. I like the skill sets of some of the guys you have now over All some right. of the other ones slightly. Um, and I think you have a, 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 a nice upgrade at wide receiver. So um, I'm going to go with four and a half. I, I think some of the other stuff is kind of underwhelming because what the Browns did, they, they, the majority of what they've done is bring back yeah. their guys. Mm -hmm. And so that's naturally as a human, that's less exciting than new right. names. But that's, that, is, that doesn't necessarily mean that new names are better than the ones you had. That's so true. I'm going to go with four and a half. All right, Jason. so four, four and a half. Jason, what about you? I guess I'm not fully comprehending or grasping the one to ten because I was thinking like five and three eighths, and that's, that's higher than you guys, and I'm never higher than you guys. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so now the so curve is off. He said, "Stay on that." But but I I really like the Quentin Williams. I think it brings them an interior pass rush that they've never had before. Judy is certainly an upgrade at receiver, and mm -hmm. everyone else is pretty much back. Mm -hmm. So I I but but five and three eighths to me isn't a dramatic. That's not dramatic. Like that's mm -hmm. that's mid increment. Yeah, it's increment. All right. So, so we're both I, in the I'm mid, surprised mid you guys were as range. low as you were, but I, because, I guess we're all close. I guess just because I think of it as the only. I, yeah, I, they got they got better at defensive tackle, and they got better at wide receiver. And I think they got better linebacker. I think Jordan Hicks is better than Taki. Yeah, I, I look like at linebacker as a overall a slight downgrade. Do you really? I do tiny bit. Okay. Even though I like Hicks better than Taki Taki. I, do too. I don't know. That's or the maybe that's the maybe more it's a wash one. instead of a slight. I think Hicks like is, I think Hicks is more important than Taki Taki. Or is better than Taki Taki, mm -hmm. and that's the more important signing and, to me because Walker that's was never fair. Walker was never healthy. That's true. And I you know, I kind of forgot about the Quentin Williams thing. Mm -hmm. Quentin Jefferson, by the way. Quentin Jefferson. Sorry. So I'm gonna we go back to my I'm gonna go bro. back Bad to my five. I'm not going as high as Jason. But I flip flop from five to four, back to five. Okay. <laughs> now, 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 here's the crazy part about yeah. it: there, there's, there's a sweetener to the pot. 
And I hate doing this because this all comes down to this. If Deshaun Watson played good, they could be an eight. <laughs> well, like you know, what we're I'm saying? just like, basing it on the guys they've added. But it, just the guys they added. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. If they could get Jerry Judy, I I think Jerry Judy can get you. Well, eleven hundred yards. I think that's Deshaun what my Watson, expectation is. Deshaun Watson's basically been, um, you know, a a lower tier. I mean, he's been Jacoby Brissett for the last two years, essentially. Yeah, uh, I mean that's so harsh, but fair. If he could actually be Deshaun Watson, then that would be a huge upgrade. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Right, moving on to the Bengals, Bull. Okay. Some of their signings include Sheldon Rankins, Zach Moss, Mike Isicki, Geno Stone, Von Bell. They traded away Joe Mixon. They lost uh, DJ Reader. I'm sure there's a few other names in there that if you want to add, but how would you evaluate the Bengals first week of the offseason? So the DJ Reader to Rankins thing, and I think the Bengals will sign another defensive tackle too, which might change my opinion a little bit. The, the, the reader to Rankins is interesting because they got paid basically the same money. Reader got a little more than Rankins from Detroit. It was way closer than I thought it'd be. What did he get? Yeah. I didn't see what he got. Rankins? Reader. Like 26 for two, I think. Yeah. Now, they're both older, but Reader's coming off a serious injury, which is, I think, part of the reason the Bengals were hesitant. I think he tore it. What did he tear last year? I think his quad. His quad. Yeah, yeah. It was a bad injury for a 30-year-old player. Now, when he's healthy... Reader's a great run stopper and has, is okay as a pass rusher, serviceable. Rankins is a good pass rusher defensive tackle and is fine as a run stopper, but he's not DJ Reader. So I, if I knew Reader was going to be healthy, I'd say that's a slight downgrade. Uh, I, I think I'm on the minority. I actually think Zach Moss right now, as much as I love Joe Mixon, is a better fit for the Bengals than Joe Mixon because it allows them to use Chase Brown more, and, and I like going with two backs in that situation. And I think Mixon will go off the cliff soon. So I give the Bengals a slight upgrade there. At tight end, again, a slight upgrade. Gusecki's better than Irv Smith, who they had. Uh, and they've made – it's a significant improvement at safety. Safety was by far their worst position last year. And they've added Stone, who was good, and Von Bell, who knows the Bengals and is you know, just a good, solid player. So the Bengals don't have any massive upgrades. Like the Browns had a big upgrade at wide receiver. The Bengals don't have any big upgrades there, but they also don't have any big downgrades. Except, I mean, maybe defensive tackle, but I don't think so. Now, if T. Higgins ends up being traded, that's a different story, but I can't imagine they'll trade him, and he's not going to sit out. So I'll say the Bengals are kind of right there with the Browns, but a little lower, I'll say uh, they improved uh, 3.75. <laughs> I, I got the uh, I got the Bengals. Um, I got them at three and a half. Um, but it but they have potential to be a wash. Um, I, I look at the DJ Reader injury being that old, being that large with a quad injury. I just don't know if he's going to be able to play at that level anymore, especially getting that series of injury. I think Sheldon Rankins has the ability to kind of be almost a wash. I love Zach Moss. I thought he was a guy that the Browns should have went after. And um, him and Brown, I think that's, you know, I, I still think Joe Mixon has a little bit left. But for me, I, I, don't, I wouldn't have any, any res reservations going into the season with Brown and Moss. I think they'll be all right. Gusecki is a is an upgrade over the tight end they had before, and I think really you, you guys drafted the Bengals drafted a couple of safeties a few years ago. Two years, and I feel like they felt like those guys never lived up to what it was. Well, and they basically said, yeah. "Let me go back. We, well, let's let's get some veterans." So in here. two years ago, they drafted Dax Hill in the first round, and he was a, a a slot corner in college. They tried to make him a safety. It's not really working. I think they're eventually going to move him back into the slot to replace Hilton when Hilton's gone. The other kid whose name's escaping me now, they drafted in the second round last year, he was okay. But they got Von Bell for nothing because yeah. Carolina's paying him. So they were not going to, like, he wanted to come back. So, they, uh, you know, so. But I bet, yes, yeah. I, but I think that's an upgrade. It's a for nice this. upgrade at safety. That's and, the, and, yeah. And, 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 and so the Bengals aren't, going, in the division, the Bengals aren't going to have the craziest defense. I think they just want to get back to the point where they're very competent and they got a really good uh, defensive coordinator that put people in position to make plays. Um, so I, I give them, I give them a, a three and a half, which is very tricky um, because <laughs> that's saying a lot. Like they were to me, if you bring back Joe Burrow, they were already 
in that second slot. So I think what they was thinking about is let me just maintain a little bit. We'll mm-hmm. maintain. But they they by no chance are getting blown away by anybody else in the division. Mm-hmm. Like they, they they stood pat and did a decent job. I mean, obviously nobody knows the Bengals Berlin Bowl sitting up here, so I would defer to him. I was kind of thinking two and a half because the only spot that looks to me like an upgrade is safety and everything else is a wash as far as I'm concerned. So and I and I agree. I think defensive tackle they might have gone back. Um, you guys are probably higher on Moss than I am. I, I think it's a wash, Moss to Mixon. I don't think th- no, it might be. And so the only spot on there that I look at and say where they got better is safety. So I would give them. I wouldn't yeah. give them anything more than a two and a half. All right, uh, let's go fair. to the Ravens now, who have lost more players than they have signed, but mm-hmm. they did sign Derrick Henry, which is a big sign. They signed Derrick Henry. They got Malik Harrison in there, Brent Urban, Josh Johnson will be their new backup quarterback. They re-signed Justin Matabike to a massive contract. However, they did lose Gus Edwards to the Chargers, Geno Stone to the Bengals, John Simpson, an offensive lineman, Ronald Darby, a defensive back, Devin Duvernay, and Deshaun Phillips. So a lot of losses. And one of their other starting guards. Yeah, you said that. I can't find that. I don't know if you made it up or not. No, no, no. I'll go, I'll, I, it, the Athletic has a list of like the top 100 free agents and who's still left. He's a veteran. He played for the Bengals, and I can't think of his name. Before the Ravens, he played for the Bengals. And, well, no, if you, can, if you ben- can find it, let me know. I can't. He played for the Bengals, anywhere. then the Giants, then the Ravens. He's a good player. He's been a good player forever, and I can't think of his name. He was one of their starting guards. He's still out there. He hasn't signed with anybody else. But it uh, doesn't matter. Well, you so, didn't mention Patrick Queen, right? On the losses. Yeah, and they, they lost you, Patrick that's, Queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where have the Ravens gotten better? Running back. Yeah. Definitely? Yes. I, I think mean, Henry's so. better than Gus Edwards. At yeah. this point? Yes. I think he's think better. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not I saying... I think that's a massive upgrade. I'm not saying it's significant, but I, yeah. I'd rather have Derrick Henry than uh, Gus I Edwards. I mean, Derrick Henry had 1,100 yards last year, right? No, what, 1,100 yards? No no, no quarterback? I mean, if... if to, the Ravens would be my one negative on this scale. If we're grading positives and negatives, I think the Ravens are in the negative. I don't think they got better. I think they got worse. They when you I, talk yeah. about what they lost. They, that was some significant pieces that they lost. Every week. And I don't know that I necessarily count got you guys you brought back. That doesn't count. Right. It's guys who lost and guys who, it's new guys who are coming in and old faces that are going out. And the Ravens, to me, are probably like a, a negative two. Remember, remember, McNuggets, you did this exercise about a couple of weeks ago. You said, which person would you take off somebody's team? Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I said, Patrick Queen. And I said, yo, I want him to get him off the squad. Because with that yeah. Patrick Queen and Roquan Smith and, 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 and that freak of nature at safety, these guys was terrorizing. Yeah, but he yeah. just moved two doors down. Right, He's still right, in the neighborhood. Right. He's still yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I would give the Ravens like a negative four. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I don't think that – and I like Derrick Henry, of course, but he's old. Yeah, he is. And Gus Edwards – I called for him to fall off the cliff two years ago, yeah. though, so I got to no, stop I, with that. I, I, Gus Edwards under the radar has been a pretty good back for Baltimore. He just was never – they never gave him the ball. The Ravens like to spread it around. Yeah. And Gus Edwards had like 800 yards last year on, you know, not as many carries, I'm sure, as Derrick Henry. Uh, it's an upgrade, I agree, but I don't think it's a big upgrade. I don't think so. We'll see. I, t- I think this, I think I'm going to give them a minus two. Um, they got worse defensively. You lose Stone and Patrick Queen. Um, that was, you, Ravens defense was nice last year with yeah. Matt, Matt Bouquet. He was doing his thing. But I think, they slightly got better at offensively, and I'll, I'll explain why. Derrick Henry now gives you – all depends on what they want to run. They give you what I call a two-way go on anything. So now when he gets under center, and, and if they stick to the run and they, they do what they need to do, now you got Lamar Jackson. Then, then you got Isaiah Likely. Then, then, you, then you got, uh, oh boy, uh, uh, the uh, tight end, Edwards, not Edwards. Edwards. Andrews. Yeah, Andrews. And now you got Zay Flowers. So now what you can do, and they got that big t- that big uh, fullback that be running over people. Oh, that yeah. was just a, a tackle in the backfield. Patrick Ricard. <laughs> boy, when you come up there and you get in double tights, and now you got the ability to run read option. You got the you got to respect the, the zone play with Derrick Henry. They can pull it. They can run the, the RPO plays out there with Zay Flowers. They can throw the ball down the seam with Mark Andrews. They got every single thing you want covered out there. Every single thing that you need out there. 
um, to, to be a dangerous offense. They just need to figure out if they're going to continue to run. But defensively, they got worse. Um, and I, I think, actually, to be truthful, in the AFC, they took us in AFC North. I think they, they came in fourth if you talk about who got better and who did the best and who winners and losers when it co- comes to the conference. I have them last. So what's your grade, Jason? Negative two. I, I said got, negative two. I got a minus two. And boy, you gave minus four? Yep. Before we move on, offensive lineman? Uh, before we move on, of course, I mentioned that the offensive lineman played for the Bengals and the Giants, and of course, he played for the Browns too. How can I forget that? Kevin Zeitler. Oh man, he's dang. So okay. they, so he's a free agent. He was old, but he yeah. was still pretty good. Did he so start last year? Where have the Ravens gotten better? Besides, he was their starter. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Started 15 games for them. In sure. fact, he has played at least 15 games every year since 2014 with the Bengals. And for the last three years, he's played uh, 47 out of a possible 51 games as their starting right guard. And you never heard of him. No, I've heard of him. I just... Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Now, he's old. He's, I don't know how old he is. They've, lost, uh, a cu- they've lost a couple... 34. They've lost a couple of linemen. They've um, gotten... Wor- so, they haven't added... Most of the guys you had on their list were re-signs. Because they've only signed. Well, I don't player. even know why you put them up there because we're trying to see if they. The, well, I just wanted to fill out the graphic so it was even. But they uh, really only signed so, one player, which is Derrick Henry. Right. <laughs> so they've gotten better and, at running back. And Josh Johnson, the, their backup quarterback. Yeah, but that's, which a, is that's a, downgrade a downgrade from Tyler Huntley. So they've gotten worse at backup quarterback. They've gotten worse on the offensive line. They've gotten worse at linebacker. Now worse some of the these spots are the significantly worse. But, yeah, you know, I got they've lost four. two good players on defense. And three good players on offense, and only added one a good player on offense, and none on defense. So. I agree with the negatives. I would also I got negative be four. negative on that. All right, with the Steelers, you talk about one team's losses and other team's games. Well, they yeah. signed Patrick Queen. Yeah. They also got Russell Wilson. They traded for Dante Jackson yeah. in exchange for Deontay Johnson. They also signed Deshaun Elliott and Miles Killebrew. Yeah. They've released Patrick Peterson, Allen Robinson, and they're still looking for a punter. Overall. What's the improvement level for the Pittsburgh Steelers so, based on the first week? So of the who have they lost besides Deontay Johnson? Patrick Peterson. Okay. Allen Robinson. Yeah, yeah, he sucks. So nothing. They really haven't lost a ton. I mean, they're they're a seven and a half. As far I was going to say eight. I, listen, yeah. I was going to go. Look, I didn't want to go all the way up ten. Yeah. But the Pittsburgh Steelers, it, it, they they jumped the biggest of any AFC oh, yeah. team. Oh, no for doubt. sure. I, I mean, these guys. I just mean, the quarterback alone. Just by that. Yeah. And and then taking it, and I, I take in consideration, they're running. Warren and Harris are both point arrows pointing up. Pickens arrow is pointing up, and then you get Russell Wilson. This is tough right here, bro. Like, like you got to think about this, man. You, 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 they, your man is gonna be on the on the sidelines with yeah. the aviators like this big, with all the chains on. <laughs> yeah. Like, because this dude got a quarterback that can look. They can play Pittsburgh Steelers game now. We, That's they right. can, they can, they right back to the Steeler way. They got Patrick. I don't like this. Yeah, I, don't I like mean, it. they got. Listen, uh, right now, I'd say it's a slight negative for them at wide receiver because they lost Deontay Johnson. He's a good player. Uh, my assumption is they'll draft somebody, maybe even in the first round at wide receiver, uh, or maybe get involved in, in what's left of free agency. I don't know. Maybe Tyler Boyd goes to Pittsburgh. There's been some talk about that. Now, he's not as good as Deontay Johnson at this Great point. Great receiver class. But, they they yeah. got a first-round pick. But if the Steelers add a wide receiver to the draft in Tyler Boyd, then, they haven't got, then they've gotten better, prob- potentially, at wide receiver. Now, their offensive line's still not good, and they did lose one of their offensive linemen. They cut him. They cut one of their one Has of their he starters. signed anywhere? It, it's tough to find. He got cut before this week, the guy. It was like last week they cut him. I can't think of his name. Is his name J.C. Hassenauer? I don't think so. I didn't put him on because I never heard of him. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, they did, you know, and I don't think they've made any additions on the offensive line. But, man, they've gotten way better at quarterback, mm-hmm. and they've gotten way better on defense. Mm-hmm. They've added to a corner, two, two decent safeties, a good corner, and a very good linebacker. They already had the D-line, and they went from one of the five worst quarterback situations to a mid-tier. Now, yeah. they're not. They still have the worst quarterback in the division. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
<laughs> but I mean, he's, he's at least he's, he's an upgrade, a starting man. NFL yes. quarterback. 20, sure. Like twenty six and eight, man. I, I mean, you say what you want about yeah. that, man. Listen, if Deshaun Watson put up twenty six and eight. I'm like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Slow clap. I mean, <laughs> Russell Wilson is a legit mid tier starting quarterback in the NFL. What they had was trash. Yeah. So that's the biggest upgrade, and they got better on defense. Yeah, I, I go eight. Steve this, Becker also texted me and said they signed Cameron Johnson from the Texans to be their punter, so I guess they also okay. had a punter news. Uh, yeah, their punter other, wasn't very good. In some other NFL news, when Jason Kelsey retired, we knew he'd be coming to Canton in 2029. He'll also now be joined by Aaron Donald, who just announced his retirement from oh, wow. the NFL within the last two minutes. Uh, just want to mention that one of the best players to ever put on an wow. NFL jersey. He's incredible. still playing at a high level. He can keep going. Yep. He was incredible last year, too. So, kudos to Aaron Donald on a hell of a career. Uh, 